In the question 1.2 of electrical machines, area of cross-section increases by 5% and how to calculate that, that has puzzled some of the students who have forgotten their basics. So let me try to explain the question and then the answer. So this is the whole question. This part is bothering people. Assume that the fringing in the air gap increases the effective cross-sectional area of the air gap by 5%. So this is the cross-sectional area, this portion actually, and this is air gap. So when the flux passes through here, it tends to go out. So it increases slightly, and how much is that increase? That increase is 5% of the total area, 5% of this area. Now, how to solve this? So in the solution, what I have done is that I have multiplied this area, which is 12 centimeters square, by 1.05 to cater for increase in 5%. And so the total area becomes 12.6 centimeters square. Now this is the question some students ask why you are multiplying it by 1.05. Let me give you a very simple example that you might have done in class four or five. Suppose you have money in your bank, your money increases by 5% annually. And let's say you have deposited $500, what will be the total amount after one year? Now there are two ways of doing it. One method is that, this is called the unity method. You say that $100 increase by five, then $1 will increase by five over 100, and $500 will increase by five over 100 multiply by this. 500, that means $25. So this is the amount of increase. So what will be the total amount? The total amount will be increase plus the original. So it will be 525. Now there's another way, which I think is a better way of doing this question. And that is if we say that $100 becomes 105 after one year. 5% increase means it will become 105. So $1 will become 105 divided by 100. That is 1.05. And so $500 will become 1.05 multiplied by the original amount. That is 525. So this is what I'm doing. For 5% increase, I'm multiplying it by 1.05, this 1.05, as shown here, the original area is 12, we have 5% increase, so we're multiplying it by 1.05 to get the total area, 12.6 centimeter square, which can be converted into meter square by dividing by uh, 1,000 or 10,000, sorry. So I hope uh, you have been uh, following this, were able to understand this. Thank you.